Star Citizen once again. Now, we're not going to be talking about the dog fight. We're not going to be talking about the cargo runs. We're not going to be talking about the frustrating times that, you know, the game might crash. It's alpha. Get over it. No. What we're going to be talking about is the FPS, or the first-person shooter aspect of Star Citizen. I know it's a lot of dogfighting, it's a lot of cargo, but you know what? Every now and then you gotta get out of your ship and you gotta you got stand your ground or you gotta take some. Take the only way you're gonna do that is with a gun. So, this video is for all of you who haven't had a chance to actually take a moment to look at all the guns and shoot them off and see what you think of them. So, I hope you all enjoy it. I hope you uh, learn a little bit from this video and maybe you can pick your gun that you like. Alright, so let's jump into it. The first gun that we're gonna be looking at is the LH86 Ballistic Pistol by Gemini. This is a beautiful weapon. This weapon has a magazine capacity of 13 and is Looks pretty like reliable. Looks like it was made for you. Um, if you sit there and you run out of ammo, definitely you can switch to this thing. Whatever your first gun does not kill, this gun will finish the job. However, if you're not the most accurate shooter, you might want to stick with the arc light pistol. Alright, let's see how it sounds and looks. And a newcomer, the first ballistic shotgun for Star Citizen, the R97 Ballistic Shotgun by Gemini. This thing is pretty fun, has a magazine capacity of about 10 rounds and two firing modes of automatic and semi-automatic. The semi-automatic shoots a little faster though while the automatic shoots really slow. The difference though is with the semi-auto, the spread is much, much better. You switch to all that, you shoot all your rounds though, you reload, switch over to the fully automatic, you're gonna notice that your spread is a lot tighter. Perfect for when you're taking on that one person. However, the shooting speed on automatic, a lot slower. So keep that in mind. Next up, we're getting into the fun guns. This is the Bering P8 SC submachine gun. Now this thing has Those a magazine capacity great. of 45 and two firing modes of burst as well as fully automatic. Now this thing, if you want to send rounds down range very quickly, this is the gun for you. However, the kickback, the recoil, it's kind of a lot, so be ready for that. Now for my personal favorite, the P4AR Ballistic Rifle by Baring. Baring is becoming one of my favorites, by the way. Uh, this rifle has a magazine capacity of about 30 rounds and has three different firing modes of single shot, burst, and fully automatic. So if you're all about accuracy, you're going to want single shot. But if you just want to sit there and send around stand range, that's good. Um, this, the recoil is not as bad as the submachine gun, but pay attention to it.
And last but not least, the Apocalypse Arm Scourge Railgun. This thing is incredible. This was actually the first time I got to shoot it. If you want something gone, this thing will make it gone. Um, be careful with it though. <laughs> That just about sums up all the ballistic weapons for a Star Citizen. Um, let's see. Hi. Some things Good I didn't cover. When it comes to the LH-86, you can pretty much find it at Levski, Port Olisar, Grim Hex. It's everywhere. Um, the weapon itself is going to set you back around 650, 700 credits. The magazine's going to be about 8. So it's not that bad. When it comes to the shotgun, though, the shotgun's going to run you up around 900,000 um, that can only be found at Fort Olisar and Levski. It's not going to be at Grim Hex, so don't bother going over there. Next you have the uh, submachine gun, the P8. Um, that is going to set you anywhere between 875 to 1000 credits. And the magazines of 45 rounds is going to cost you about 10 credits. So it's pretty affordable. Um, however, if you feel like spending a little bit more money, I definitely recommend getting the P4. Um, the submachine gun, you can find it at Port Olisar, you can find it at Levski, you can find it at Grim Hex, it's everywhere. Uh, the P4, however, the P4 is going to be a little more expensive. It's going to be about 1,500, 1,600. 30 round magazines are going to cost you about 12 credits each. Um, those can only be found at either Levski or Grim Hex, I believe. Actually, I think it might only be Grim Hex. Um, but the railgun. The, the Armageddon, uh, the Scourge, that's going to, or Apocalypse, I'm sorry, the Scourge is going to set you back 5,000 credits. The magazines are 10 rounds, uh, 58 credits each. So, what do you think of this video, everybody? Anything you're looking forward to? Suppressors, chokes, modifications? Me, I'm looking forward to an actual fire. So, if you like this video, sure feel free to, to subscribe, out. hit the bell for notifications, so when I finally get around to putting a new video out, you'll know. Fly safe, everybody.